Alright guys, well welcome back to Foxborough Zoo. I know, it's been quite some time, but not as long as Blackstone Zoo. Ho <laughs> ho we're not even going to talk about that one. But yeah, welcome back to uh, Foxborough Zoo. And yeah, I did a little work for our new African penguins, so unfortunately, we don't have our old ones. By the way, sh big shout out to Bolt again for the sign. I still need to find a big place for it. But yeah, so these guys are now officially in the game. I'm just going to hit pause because it is a little too loud for me. But yeah, these guys are the cutest things in the world. We'll look at them move around in just a little bit. I just want to show off what I did for the habitat. So I want to kind of like emphasize that, you know, New England nautical style. So since this is like located in Massachusetts-ish, I would say they would have like a lot of crossover with like New Hampshire, Maine and stuff like that. So I figured that the zoo could, you know, get their props and stuff from like local harbor towns. Think like Portsmouth, think like, um, like York, Maine or something like that. And I figure since I see these happen like a lot over there, these are like buoy birdhouses. So they're just like wooden carvings and yeah, they just, I would just figure the zoo would would have bought like a bunch of these and hung them up and these like yellow this yellow rope that happened in the uh, north africa pack it is so awesome like it's so versatile i love it it's that beautiful bright yellow that you would see in like harbor towns and stuff like that it just completes the area so much and, you know i haven't really done much to foxborough zoo besides that i'm just gonna take you guys through like all the small changes and stuff but yeah, these guys absolutely love their little habitat. They have such good traversability in here. I'm actually just gonna try and show it off a little bit. Where's the... Right... Nope, that is not it. There it is. So yeah, they can walk up on these rocks over here. They won't escape right there. I haven't seen them do it. But they can also walk on these rocks. So if we just get out of that view... Yeah, they just walk around up there and it's just really nice to see. Yeah, I absolutely love these guys, and I love their little habitat now. And I put, like, a bunch of lobster traps in here. So this one has, like, a few tennis balls. I figure they would put fish in here, but unfortunately we don't really have a fish prop. So they could just try and peck at the balls while they're underwater. And I put, like, a little... I put this one in here as well. Just, you know, just for fun. But yeah, they have all their education and stuff like that, and you know, I kind of revamped that a little bit. Unfortunately, we still are getting like, kind of low-res textures. You don't really see it too much except for in here. I don't know. I just really wish we could figure that out because, I don't know, it's just such a beautiful mural. I hate to lose out on like, all the quality, especially that painting as well. It just really, it harshens my mellow man, you know? So, I also threw in this little penguin statue over here, and it's really nice in the sun. I figure they added that after they added the penguins in here. You know, it would just be a nice little centerpiece. But over here, so, this is one of my favorite parts, and it's, like, my favorite part for no reason whatsoever. So you can see, like, the backstage of the deer trail start to take form. And, I don't know, it just looks really nice. By the way, I did record a speed build for all of this. But unfortunately, the footage got corrupted, and that in turn had me go back and do all this. And I didn't even have, like, a speed bill for any of this, because, you know, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I have a little bit of a backstage area right now for the penguins. Obviously, there's nothing really in it. Obviously, you can't really fit in here, too. But I'm sure we can work on that in just a little bit. But yeah, I want to have a little bit of staff parking. So this would be the staff parking for this whole area right here. I figured they could park there if they work there, in the fox habitat, or over here with the penguins. Uh, but yeah, so it's nothing too crazy. So I have these little signs over here, they're the parking signs. Unfortunately, they're from the workshop and I forgot who made them, but I will be looking into that pretty soon. There's some like direct staff access right over here so they can access all of this. So this is the moose habitat over here, so they can just get right in there. And they have... um access to this building as well. I figure this would be the whole shebang for um for the train ride for all of, like the artiodactyls that live in here as well as maybe the bear. I don't really know. By the way, speaking of the bear, I am working on this little habitat over here. It's nothing really happening right now because I don't know, I'm working on a speed build speed build for it, but I haven't really gotten too much done for it so far. 
But I really do love this and I wanted to show you guys like the process of it so far. So I want to show off what I have done with it. I want it to be like a little bit of a hunting lodge that's been kind of ruined. Maybe like, you know, a mountain fell on it or something like a landslide and it kind of exposed all of that. Maybe a hurricane or a storm or something. But yeah, once the American Black Bear gets updated, it's going right in here. And I just love like all this so far. Like, I'm not sure when the last time I updated you guys on this was. But yeah, our deer trail is turning out to be pretty good. The fallow deer are going in here. Not really a North American species, but I know they are releasing some wild parts of North America. The moose goes in here, as I just said before. Uh, usually you wouldn't get moose on a tour like this. But hey, this is my zoo, so I don't really care what humans think is impossible, you know? Also over here we have the little elk, just because I love the elk and they have all that beautiful open area right there for them. But yeah, nothing else has been happening too much. I do need to go back and redo all the roofing of this with like new mesh pieces. Unfortunately, we lost all of our flamingos as well during the great modding wipe of 1.6. And we have a bunch of dead animals in here. So it's just, you know, Foxborough Zoo. It took a little bit of a turn for the worse, but we're still getting there. We have a lot of work to do. We're not done yet. They can't keep us down. But yeah, here are little capybars too. I hope they're okay. I don't know, may maybe they just need to eat a little bit more and then they'll be fine. But yeah, I just wanted to show this off to you guys. I have to get going to Nick's stream right now. I'm currently recording on Friday, so yeah. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, all the little additions that we have in here. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.